if you are a home wrecker, um, there's so many different levels to it. Because maybe you don't mean to be a home wrecker. You know, the person that you're chilling with has a relationship, but again, the relationship is dead. So in your mind, it makes sense to you that you can be with them. Well, that is not a relationship. That is an affair. And I'm not putting you down. And I'm not saying that the love isn't real. And I'm not saying that it cannot become solid in the future. But very rare do the people leave their mates. I, even true crime will show you that they rather kill their mate before they, you know, break up with their mate. And not only that, sometimes it's like pulling out every single tooth for a husband or a wife to leave their mate and their children and their home. You know, so you may be in a relationship live like really hoping in vain that you that man or that woman will leave their husband, their wife, their partner or whatever for you. And you may pray and hope and meditate every single morning, every single afternoon, every single night, but you are getting leftovers. That man has or that woman has a life with their partner and if they have kids, okay, or even like they have a family, okay, and even if there is no family and it's only a relationship, they still have a commitment. And that man or woman has a life. So they go to work. After work, they have their schedule. And you get the leftovers from that schedule. You are not first priority. Until you are first priority, you are not the king or the queen of that person's relationship, that person's heart, that person's life. 